start that Arkansas has had. Leads team in assists, steals, and rejects. All right, then the 6'2", senior, senior is U.S. Reed, number 24, and the guy to really watch. He's an extremely talented player. Sometimes spectacular, always consistent. Reed will be in double figures, averaging 14 this year, and Eddie Sutton, 151 and 40, in his seventh year with the Razorbacks. Well, Arkansas, and they start him young here, don't they? The Razorbacks. By the way, that wasn't always their name. Their original name were the Cardinals. And one year their football team played an extremely gutty, hard game. And their coach says, says something in the effect that they play like a bunch of Razorbacks and, and it stuck. And now they are not the Cardinals anymore, but the Arkansas Razorbacks. I know one thing. They love their basketball now. As we've said many times before, the Southwest Conference used to be just a football conference. Forget that, because these two clubs have now made it a basketball conference. And these two coaches have been a big part of that great interest. Walker jumps center and gets it back. What a start. All right, that's Walker, the number 20 U.S. Reed, where 24. That's Scott Hastings, the big all-South West Conference center. Brad Friss. Post Peterson, it looks like inside. They're playing against the zone. Well, the Texas defense is more of a matchup. It's a very complicated thing. It uh, tries to bend and not break. They are going to give you outside shots as a rule and cut you off inside. Walker. Darrell Walker. And it's 2 nothing. Arkansas pressing. They're known for this. And Texas's ability to, to handle this is going to have a big say as to how this game turns out. And now a foul called. A blocking foul called against Arkansas. The key to Arkansas's scoring in spurts is that they generate so much of their offense off the defense. If they're able to score, they have time to set up the defense. So if they're missing, they have to fall back. But if they're scoring, they can keep the pressure on you, and they can run them off very fast on you. Incredible quickness. All right, the foul was on press. Now you're talking about a man-to-man -man when you're talking about Arkansas. They love to play man. I turned the ball over to Texas, but there was no signal as to why they turned it over. It was, it was a five-second call, and of course, they only jumped the ball one time in the Southwest Conference. It's an experimental rule. After that, they alternate possessions on what would be jump balls. That's what happened. All right, they tried to get the ball inside to LaSalle, and the foul is called, a non-shooting foul inside. It's on Scott Hastings. Just to refine that a little bit, Arkansas controlled the opening tip, so the next possession went to Texas. Now, the next time there's a jump ball situation, it will be Arkansas's ball. It will go that way through the entire game, unless there's an overtime, and then they'll re-jump it. Walker with a rebound. On a missed shot by Mike Wacker. Hastings. Here comes the press. And a long pass, Carson saves it. And Hastings is traveling. Texas not showing much poise early against the Arkansas press. They're throwing it around. It's an adventure. LaSalle Thompson missed Carson on the fly pattern, and uh, right now it's very hairy, but that has to be to Arkansas's liking. That's what they want to do with their pressure. All right, this is Ray Harper. He's only a freshman, averaging 10 a game from Bremen, Kentucky, and LaSalle Thompson hits the outside shot, and it's a 4-2 ball game now. Arkansas over Texas. LaSalle Thompson, only a sophomore, 
out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and he has all, all the qualities, boy. He could be a great player. U.S. Reed misses from the outside. LaSalle tops him with a rebound. The long release. Johnson is ahead of the field, and Johnson has tied the game up. Henry Johnson, the 6'6 junior from L.A., and it's a 4-4 game. Walker's the point guard. He's a transfer boy. He's really helped this club. Out of Chicago, Illinois. And a whistle and traveling. Peterson trying to work on the inside is called for traveling. Wacker at the top of the Texas zone is 6'8". It's causing some problems as far as Arkansas being able to rotate the ball. Actually, when the ball goes to the wing, Wacker will then back in and play about free throw line. And if it goes to the corner, he goes all the way under. So they keep his size right in the middle of the floor. It's a gimmick, but it's effective. Here's the LaSalle Thompson. And LaSalle had an easy time in shooting over Hastings. And it's now Texas on top, 6-4. To they spotted Arkansas the 4-0 lead, and they've scored three straight hoops, two by LaSalle. Again, going back now, Arkansas has to score to set up their press. They're just another basketball team in a drop-back defense. But when they're scoring or on violations, they get to put the speed on you, full court. U.S. Reed again. game is tied. Reed's done a lot of work on that jump shot. Between the sophomore and junior year, he did a lot of work on it. How much like Daryl Griffith had to do it at Louisville. Boy, they're always tough on the inside because they could jump, but they had to keep him honest with that 15, 18 footer, and now U.S. sits that pretty well. Here comes the pressure. Harper gets rid of it with a good pass to Wackler in the front court. So Texas handles that time. That's just not passing very crisply against that pressure, and there's so much speed. You've got to come to meet it, and you've got to throw crisp passes. Carson missed his shot. Thompson got the rebound and was fouled by Peterson underneath of Arkansas. Underneath, battling for position. LaSalle Thompson with a great grab, showing good hands. Had his legs taken out from under him, but was strong enough and had soft enough hands to pull it in. The timeout has been called. We'll be back with more prime time college basketball after these messages. All right, 6 6 ball game. Texas and Arkansas here at Fayetteville at Barnhill Arena. This arena, a couple of years ago, only sat 4,000 people. But Eddie Sutton came to town, got everybody excited. Now it's a 9,000 seat arena. They've been sold out for four straight years. You can't get near a ticket. Arkansas going 2-3 off the uh, inbounds off the defensive. Oh, that's a nice pick out there. Johnson uh, rang Walker's bell. One of the things that uh, Texas has always done well is pick a zone. And, uh, of course, they're not going to see an Arkansas in it very much. Arkansas is going to play man for man, except in this very special situation. Beautiful touch from the outside by Ray Harper, the freshman. 5'11 from Bremen, Kentucky. He's averaging 10 a game. And Texas goes on top again, 8-6. to six. Press from the corner. Kept alive on the board and a foul. Foul against Arkansas. Foul's going to be called against U.S. Reed. Press taking the jumper from the corner gets the front of the iron. Texas doing a good job of working for position. It gets a second hit on the iron. They called, <laughs> they called Reed for leaning on LaSalle Thompson. LaSalle probably didn't even feel it. Ray Harper handles it well. Thompson on the outside. They've got Wacker at the top of the key. Despite uh, LaSalle Thompson's bulk at 6'10", 240. Ooh. And Wacker banks it in with the help of a, an Arkansas hand. And now it's 10-6. And Texas playing well early on, Bucky. That's been the, uh, the way they've operated here. With all this noise and intensity, they've managed to lead the last three years at the half. Arkansas is not used to that. They run him out of here. Walker from the outside. He hit it again. Darrell Walker's at his second straight from the outside, and it's now 10-8. Texas by two. Carson Johnson on the outside. The short jumper is home again. And Texas shows a lot of poise in breaking the press and getting the open shot. It's 12-8 Texas. Johnson, number 43 for Texas, wears protective glasses. He only has one eye. 
And if the ball comes from the right side, he does have some difficulty. But he is a heck of an offensive player. LaSalle got pressed from behind. The fans didn't like it, but that was a great block. Jackson on the outside. Good point about his eye. Jackson on the baseline. Good position that time. Hastings had LaSalle tapped and boxed off. Walker, U.S. Reed, watch his jumping ability. U.S. Reed, he's only 6'2", but he jumps through the moon. 12-10. Walker to Reed. Eddie Sutton cannot imagine a better backcourt combination in the country than his. Nice work by the freshman Harper. Carson to LaSalle tapped and great score by Reed. U.S. Reed made a great defensive play. Walker the other way. Arkansas down by two. They wanted a foul call there. That would have been a chicken foul. Walker tries to slide one through, and Johnson alertly picks it off for Texas. And a rookie, the freshman Harper, over the timeline. The last time down, Texas missed. That was the first time in five minutes. This has also helped to keep the running game of Arkansas down. It's hard to run with makes. And Wacker got it from 16 feet, and it's 14-10. The Longhorns on top. They had TCU, they being Arkansas, had TCU 40-18 to at the half in here Saturday night. So far, Texas has managed to score, which means no fast breaks off misses, and they've managed to keep the offense down of Arkansas. Press can't get it out of the corner again. LaSalle Thompson, great pass to Johnson, and Johnson is fouled. Press. Foul Johnson. Henry Johnson. He became a starter mid through midway through last year. Played well, especially through the playoffs. Let's watch this. Good pass up the floor by Carson. Johnson not hesitating at all, attacking the basket, taking the ball right at it. A fine play. Press had to take a hold of him. The foul from Press's standpoint was good because he really made it severe enough as to not risk a three-point play. Johnson played at Manual Arts High School in Los Angeles, averaged 30.3 a game in high school, Bucky, and was the leading scorer in Los Angeles, and that's a pretty tough lead. They turned out a lot of good ones. They will argue seconds. with you in Southern California that their basketball is as good as any in the country. And if you look at the UCLA teams and some of the others uh, that have come out of there, it's a pretty good point. Walker, a tougher shot. He doesn't get this one, and Johnson rips off the rebound. Texas by six. And they get it off to Carson. Freddie Carson, the sophomore. This is the youngster that at the top of the show, you saw the shot that gave Texas a one-point lead before the read shot. It was Carson, who was a freshman at the time, who had hit that pressure shot. So he knows what it is to play under pressure. Johnson at the foul line. LaSalle Thompson almost threw an air ball. Didn't look like he was ready to shoot that, Bucky. You know, for a big guy, he really doesn't get much done inside. He's got a soft touch and all of that but uh, he could be much more effective against Arkansas by putting his body down inside. Hastings, rebound, anyone's ball, and Walker is fouled. Fouled by Carson. It's a non-shooting foul. First foul on Carson, 16 to 10, Texas on top, and a timeout has been called here at Barnhill Arena in Fayetteville, Arkansas, with a score. The Longhorns of Texas 16, the Razorbacks of Arkansas 10. Let's pause for these messages. So this telecast, without written consent, is prohibited. The announcers on this telecast have been hired and paid for by Madison Square Garden Productions, Incorporated. Jim Carvelis and Bucky Waters in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and the Longhorns of Texas lead Arkansas 16-10. Yeah, with 11.30 to go, it's like Texas 7 out of 11 from the floor, Arkansas 5 out of 11. Both teams shooting well, Texas shooting better. Tony Brown is in the game now for Arkansas, replacing Press. Brown number 40. And he's roaming the baseline. The long jumper from U.S. Reed is pulled off by LaSalle Thompson. There's the release. Wacker. Fans want to travel. I'll tell you, the fans respond to everything. Every pass, every foul, 
real or imagined. LaSalle tops, and that was a nice pass by the penetrating Carson. And it's 18 to 10, and LaSalle's got three hoops now. That time they cleared the floor for Carson, and uh, he had a clear floor, but changed gears and went down the middle, caught everybody napping against the green. Hastings can work on the inside or the outside. He's got a good enough touch on the outside to hit from the perimeter, and he knows how to work on the inside. They put some weight on him. Put a couple pounds on, uh, worked in the weight room. U.S. Reed. Now, U.S. Reed from the baseline, according to Eddie Sutton, is as good a baseline shooter as he's ever had. Well, that's where he's going to be. He's going to attack LaSalle Thompson's side of the zone. Thompson is the best rebounder and the biggest man. Whoa, what an adventure. I'll get back to that point in a minute. Carson made a great save. The fans didn't think so, but it was a great save. Reed went for the steal. Carson got it to Thompson as a result. And the foul is called, and LaSalle will go to the foul line. We play well over here. We haven't really had a bad game over here. Every game we've played has been rather close. First year they beat us 11. They beat us 32 in Texas, and we get 11. And we played close. We've won a game over here. They beat us the last second shot before, and uh, I guess uh, I'd settle for that again. All right, Abe Lemon talking about how it is to play here. It is a noisy place. It is a tough place to play. However, it's Texas team to play some great basketball games here. He's doing the best thing he can do right now. Texas is putting the ball in the hole. Uh, it just looks like a matter of time before that Arkansas press is going to start picking off those errant Texas passes. And also, I'm sure Abe Lemons was pleased to see LaSalle Thompson not fade away for a jump shot. But he, that time, he took it right to the basket. LaSalle Thompson has shot 42 free throws this year in three Southwest Conference games prior to this, in which they're 0-3. He only shot five free throws. That's incredible. I mean, a guy uh, you know, that works that should be working on the inside. Actually, I try to average that out, uh, Bucky. He's averaging a little over three free throws a game. I mean, for a guy 6'10 with that kind of size, that's amazing. There can only be one answer. He's playing in a tuxedo. I mean, you, when, you're, <laughs> when you're that big and strong, you've got to go in there and move some folks. And what he wants to do is uh, kind of shoot that fadeaway jumper, which is fine, too. But he puts no pressure on the defense, and he's not going to get that other center, who in this case is a good one, Scott Hastings, in foul trouble. All right, LaSalle gets another. It's 18-12, Texas. First one short, the second long. Wacker had it blocked away. LaSalle tops and gets the ball. Wacker's good-looking freshman. He's in there banging people. All right, here's Carson. Carson, a sophomore, Harper, a freshman. Well, that's an interesting looking defense. It's just tough man for man. And they work at it, boy. And they're patient. He stepped in the line. Carson stepped on the line. The turnover gives the Razorbacks the ball down by six with 9.30 to play in the first half. Turnovers really plagued uh, Texas against Houston. Houston beat Texas by 20 on Saturday night. Texas was shooting 56%, and yet they were down three at the half. And the answer was 11 turnovers. Right over to Tony Brown. They give him the shot. Peterson missed it, and a rebound to Peterson. Now he can't pick it up off the floor, and Wacker can. Now, if Texas hurries, they've got an advantage, and Johnson made a great shot. A great shot by Johnson on the drive, and it's 2012 Texas. Well, this crowd has been uh, pretty much handled by Texas so far. A great game plan. Still the same defense. One, two, two. LaSalle Thompson is fouled by Peterson. Peterson came over the top to get him. Peterson's their leading rebounder, Keith Peterson. But that time, a classic example of not having position. Scott Hastings shoots the jumper. Oh, look at Reed try to get inside. He did, but the aircraft carrier was there. LaSalle Thompson had two pretty good hands on it. As we mentioned before, with LaSalle Thompson on the deep left side of that board, that would be the best side to attack the zone because when you put the ball on that side, you're going to bring LaSalle Thompson, their biggest and best rebounder, out to meet the ball. 
which gives you a little bit better chance to get on the offensive board, especially when you've got guys like U.S. Reed, Walker, and Hastings. All right, we have a couple new forwards coming in for Arkansas. As you see LaSalle Thompson at the line. He just missed you there a minute ago. Twenty-one, twelve. Texas. Mike Young, number thirty-four in the game for Arkansas, and Greg Stolman, number forty-three. And a foul. That's a foul on Freddie Carson. We got U.S. Reed. Abe can't be too upset. This Texas team is is playing very, very well. A nine-point lead, eight minutes, 35 seconds to go. That's as good a start as he could have hoped for. Reed misses, oh. and a vicious rebound by LaSalle Thompson. Pure and simple. Arkansas is not hitting their outside shots, so the zone is working. Almost tipped in by Thompson. He's really battling on the boards this time, and he gets a foul for his battle now. LaSalle Thompson drew a foul. He is really intense tonight. After the game, will you tell LaSalle Thompson I'm sorry? I think he heard what I said about the tuxedo because he's been ripping him off. Let's watch him get this foul here. It looks a little bit like jackpot bowling. Look at him go in there. Boom. <laughs> he, uh, he's mad. He, he, he doesn't want to be called a softie. And I don't want to be around when he comes over to talk to you as well. 21-12. Texas on top of Arkansas. Young, by the way, is a good outside shooter. That's probably why he's in there. Walker. Didn't even hit the rim at the side of the board and went out of bounds. Last touch by Arkansas. Again, the fact that Arkansas is not scoring. Only uh, 12 points in, in about 12 minutes. They haven't been able to set up their press. And the press almost paid off, but they said Daryl Walker went out of bounds with it. So Texas gets it back. So the press has not hurt Texas yet. And now a timeout has been called again here in Fayetteville with 7.52 remaining in the half. We'll have more prime time college basketball from Fayetteville, Arkansas after these messages. NBC Looking on a special look, breaking out a great big smile. Gonna spread our wings and reach right up to the stars. No one is prouder than we are. And touch of mystery. Take a look at all that's new. Chase the. I tell you what, he's a uh, he's a folk <laughs> hero, and I tell you what, I think the game tonight, our crowd is. We'll be lively, enthusiastic, but I hope that they'll be kind to Abe and the Longhorns. Eddie Sutton talking about Abe Lemons. They've had their battles a couple of years ago <laughs> in, uh, in Austin. As we look at the turnovers, even. Uh, Abe got mad because Eddie was talking to one of his players and said he was going to rip off his Sunday suit the next time he did that. Big edge for Texas in rebounds. Big edge. And they're playing with poise against the press. And they get it to the front court again. They're attacking it. They're throwing the long pass. They're not fooling with putting it on the floor and fighting through that quickness. And it's been very, uh, very interesting and very successful so far. Now it looks like they're trying to trap defensively whenever they can get them over on the side. There's a quick pass, and U.S. Reed read it. U.S. Reed saw that all the way. Here comes U.S. Reed, a native of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. He's a senior. Eddie Sutton thinks he's one of the greatest jumpers he's ever seen. Remember, he had Sidney Moncrief on this team that almost hit his head a few times in the lights. But he loves U.S. Reed, and this kid has really come a long way. He's improved every year. Young. All right, we told you, Mike Young can shoot it from the outside. According to the records, he might be their best perimeter shooter. He's in there because they've got to hit the outside shot over the zone, and he just did. Wacker. Wacker with beautiful touch. And Wacker, a junior from San Marcos, Texas, makes it 23-14. There's Young again. 
There he goes. There he goes. Good substitution by Eddie Sutton. He put Young, the good shooter, on LaSalle Thompson's side, but there haven't been many rebounds. Arkansas wants to get that press set up, and they got to score to do it or get a violation. You know where the good shooters are from, right? Where do you think he's from? Indiana. <laughs> Wolf Lake, Indiana. Twenty-three, sixteen. Texas surprisingly on top of Arkansas by seven here in Fayetteville with six minutes to play in the first half. LaSalle Thompson back to Carson. Boy, Texas really patient, aren't they? They're smart. They're not getting into any track meet here. Everything they've done by hitting their shots, managing to, uh, to keep Arkansas from getting those field goals, the whole thing has been a tranquilizer. Arkansas and the crowd came out super fired up. Texas didn't give them anything to play off of. Nice pass and a great block by Reed. Reed stuck Carson. All right, let's see what Carson does. Gets it off to Johnson and they'll hold it up. And now Johnson goes. And a foul has been called on LaSalle Thompson underneath. LaSalle. Fouling Skullman. That's two on LaSalle. LaSalle Thompson. A sophomore, Cincinnati, Ohio. He was all everything there. Ricky Norton, a freshman, is in the game. There he goes. And a rebound. Almost pulled. Yeah, it is pulled off by LaSalle. He really wanted that ball. Do not make the big fellow mad. And he was mad with that last call. He was a little upset that uh, Johnson threw an air ball, too. He didn't get much of a chance to rebound it. Carson got away from the trap. Texas holds the edge in the series, but uh, Eddie Sutton and the Razorbacks have won the last five. Carson missed it, and Young for the rebound. Texas by seven. Arkansas with the basketball with a rookie freshman, Norton. Eddie Sutton feels Norton is probably is his best shooter from the, from the key area, from the top of the key. That's the shot he just missed a moment ago. U.S. Reed, that's where he likes it. The 36-inch vertical jump he always had, but that shooting touch is really starting to come. He should be a fine professional. Well, now this place is going bananas. Abe Lemons calls timeout with a score. Arkansas 23 and Texas 18. Let's pause for these messages. Abe Lemons talking about this man, his big man, LaSalle Thompson. He's playing quite well right now, but we got some freshmen trying to throw in the ball and He's trying to run the show by himself. You know, when you're a pivot man, you have to wait for somebody to give you the ball and to try to get the basketball to him. We don't get it to him as much as we should, but he's going to be a super player, and he is a good player. He's uh, got good statistics, 20 points a ball game, 13 rebounds or thereabouts, and uh, I'm real pleased with LaSalle Thompson. So far, seven points and four rebounds, and I'll tell you what, he doesn't wait for the guards all the time. Sometimes he just goes up there and gets it off the top of the square. He's more aggressive than I expected him to be, especially by that free throw statistic that we mentioned earlier. All right, the press now against Texas. They've handled it so far. They handle it again. Good cross court. Carson fakes his shot, lobs it into LaSalle. LaSalle blocked by Hastings. Now to Johnson. Oh, oh great shot. That's a great shot by Ray Harper. A Kentucky rifle got that one off in traffic. I thought he was going to have Spalding stamped on his head. Boy. Texas by <laughs> seven. And all of a sudden, uh, every time Young gets the ball, they find him. They get, there he goes again. Young's hit three in a row. And it's 25-20. Texas by five. And they get it to Johnson and now to Carson. We may see a change. Through. Great pass to Wacker. He missed it. And a foul on Wacker. That was a great pass to Wacker. Carson put it right on the money, and Wacker showing that he's a freshman. We're going to have a chance to see it. No pressure on the ball. Had all the time in the world. Slid it right across the top. Wacker by himself. Instead of coming down and going back up, just tried to put it in soft. 
He was short, got a little frustrated, and reached for it. All right, 25-20. Can you believe that? They've lost five games here. And he finally missed one. But Walker back in the game got it. Was fouled by LaSalle Thompson. That's three on LaSalle Thompson. That's a big foul. Darrell Walker just back in the game. Watch it. Again, Young short on this one. Right off the iron. Boy, that came off our Walker. Double clutches. Goes up. Makes LaSalle Thompson commit. And that's a foul Abe Lemons would just as soon be without. There is no other proven big man in the Texas lineup or on that bench. And he's going to stay with him with three. Now, Abe's getting up rather slowly now. Walker really drew that foul. Darrell Walker makes it 25-21. He's cut the Texas lead to four. Bushrod comes in, number 24, replacing LaSalle Thompson. Bushrod is a, is a transfer from Henderson Community College. He's 6'7", 210 pounder out of Chicago. He's supposed to be a good rebounder. And I'll tell you, one thing it, it will do, uh, I'm sure Abe would rather have LaSalle Thompson in there, but Bushrod will give him a little more speed in the corner getting out to Young. And now, on the missed shot, a foul on Bushrod. Bushrod, who just came in the game, draws the foul. Now, now the referee pointed at Bushrod, and now, let's see if he, if he, we almost had him walking the other way. What was the call? That's Abe Lemons. I don't want to read his lips. And Eddie Sutton. Eddie agrees with it because they're staying down the right. They called the foul on Bushrod. And then the freshman, <laughs> Ray Harper of Texas, convinced the referee to walk to the other foul line. He got about halfway there to confuse the entire building. And they finally got back to the right foul line. All right, now we have Peterson at the foul line, one and one. And it's a 25-22 game. Texas' lead has shrunk from 9 to 3 with 2.59 to play in the first half. Sutton's gone with Peterson himself as 3. A little strange. Yep. One out of two again. Wacker pulled off the rebound. Look at Walker. He stalks you. He's down there. You throw a soft pass, it's gone. Forget it. Chris Reed is playing Johnson. They get the ball to him. They collapse on him. Here comes Harper. He misses his shot. Boy, they want to run. Texas beginning beginning to, to cool in their field goal shooting, giving Arkansas more chances to get it up the floor. Got U.S. Reed roaming around. They like to get it to him down low because he can jump so well. He's tough on the inside. Hastings from the outside. And a rebound. Without Game to Mr. Carson. Knocked away from behind by Walker. Walker knocked it away from behind. They've been going after each other for so long. There's a long jumper by Peterson. Rebounded by Johnson. Looks for the break. Doesn't have it. And now gets it to Carson. Walker just hates to give up the press, even oh, if he's yeah. the only one pressing. It's a one-man press. He leads the team, steals, assists, and rejects, and he's only 6'4". Rejected. Henry Johnson had it rejected with 127 to play in the half. Texas by three. Texas gone three minutes without a point. We thought Arkansas was the team that would score in spurts. Texas going a little cold, but they still have their poise. Push rod back to Harper and out of Carson. They may sit on the ball for a while here. They got a three-point lead, a minute seven. Why not? LaSalle Thompson on the bench in foul trouble. Sure. Good move to eat a little clock. Plus, this crowd wants him to go. Not only that, but Arkansas is getting back in the game. They feel a hot streak coming out. Why not keep the ball away from them? 
Nice move. Oh. Great move. Great poise by that freshman. And it's now 27-22. Freddie Carson. Harper's, Check it, that was Ray Harper from yes. Bremen, Kentucky. Harper's gone down in there twice now. He had the reputation of being just an outside shooter, but he's been impressive down there in the lane. 28 seconds. Texas surprisingly by five. You know, in high school in Bremen, Kentucky, Ray Harper scored over 3,000 points. All-time record for the, for the city and for the county. Tremendous score. And he handles the ball so beautifully. He had 19 at Southern Cal, too, so he's part of this future. Remember now, no seniors on this club. Five seconds, there goes U.S. Reed. And that's it. That's the end of a surprising first half because the Texas Longhorns coming in there with a mark of five and seven to take on Eddie Sutton's Arkansas Razorbacks, 11 and three, a big underdog. They've got the five-point lead at halftime, and Abe Lemons has to be a happy man even if he doesn't like Fayetteville.